Hey everyone, welcome back to Cars with Kyle. Really appreciate you being here. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you 10 must change settings on your brand new 2022 Chevy Tahoe and Suburban. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on in. First, let's start up the system and open up our settings menu. We're gonna scroll over, settings, and we're gonna be going under vehicle. Now, the first one I wanna talk about is rear seat reminder. So the way this one works, if you ever open up the back two doors 10 minutes before you start the truck or anytime they're open up after you start the vehicle, when you turn the vehicle off, it's gonna beep at you and show you a warning on this screen over here saying to look in back. And so you don't leave any kids or pets back there. Now, it's definitely nice if you do have any little ones just for that extra reminder. But if you don't, honestly, it does get kind of annoying. So you can turn that one off. The next feature we're gonna talk about is buckle to drive. The way this feature works, if you are in park, you cannot shift into a moving gear, whether reverse or drive, until both front occupants have their seatbelt on. You can turn this off if you'd like, so it, it's a little easier to move around in the garage, or in my case, the showroom. The third feature we're gonna talk about is under climate and air quality, auto heated seats. So if the temperature's cold out, if you have this selected on, it's gonna automatically turn on your heated seats for you. It's really convenient. Moving down, we're gonna go to comfort and convenience. Here, there's a few of my favorites. Hands-free exterior storage access. Basically, this is the power lift gate. By default, it's actually set to open only. I switched it over to open and close, and this is what I recommend. I'm gonna show you a little clip right here of me operating the vehicle like this so you can see exactly how that power lift gate works. Next feature is reverse tilt mirror. So I like to set this on for both the driver and passenger side. What this is going to do is going to take your side mirrors and actually tilt them back if you go in reverse, just so you can see parking spots and um, down by your wheels a little better. Moving along is going to be remote mirror folding. So we, when we set this to on, it's actually going to fold in your side mirrors so no one shoulder checks them in parking lots or anything. Now you can press and hold lock on the key fob and it's gonna do that feature. Or when we're uh, moving along here in just a few, when we set it to auto lock, it'll actually automatically fold your mirrors in too when you walk away from the car. The seventh feature I wanna talk about is listed under lighting. See, this is vehicle locator lights. By default, it's on. I personally like it on. So when you hit unlock on your key fob, it's actually gonna turn on your headlights as well as the LEDs for your reverse lamps so you can find the vehicle and parking lots more. In other words, it's just gonna flash your turn signals two or three times and then be done. Moving along, remote lock, unlock, and start is the next section we're gonna go in. Remote window operation. The way this works, say it's a hot summer day, vehicle sitting outside, maybe you have the sunroof open, can get really hot on the inside of the vehicle sitting outside all day. So we're gonna turn this on. Now when you press and hold unlock on your key fob, all your windows drop down simultaneously, letting fresh air in and hot air out. Plus, it's pretty cool. Passive door unlock. This is a big one for me. So by default, it's set to all doors. I highly suggest you put it to driver door only. The way this feature works, as long as you have the key fob on you, when you walk up to the driver door and you press the little silver button to unlock it, now it's gonna un unlock only the driver door. I like this especially because if you're going up to the vehicle by yourself at night, click it once, only you can get in. It's not gonna unlock all the other doors so someone cannot jump in on the other side or anything. You never know. Next up is passive door lock. This I always turn on with the horn trip. The way it works, as long as you have the key on you, you walk away from the vehicle, and after about five seconds, it's automatically gonna lock the car for you. It's gonna ch uh, chirp the horn once so you know that the vehicle locked. Now, there is some settings in here already turned on for remote left in vehicle. So if you do leave this in the car and you close your door, don't worry, it's not gonna lock the vehicle. The second that you close your door, it beeps three times so you know the keys are still in here. Now, let's go on. Bonus feature, seating position, if your vehicle has memory seats, you're going to want to turn both of these on. Entry is going to automatically adjust your seat to depending on whether you're driver one or driver two for your key and the settings you have that set at. Seat exit memory is for easy exit. 
Usually I'll set it so it goes down and back just so it's easier to get in and out of the vehicle. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I uh, really appreciate your support. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you haven't already. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'm going to be posting it hopefully uh, once a week actually from now on. So really appreciate your support. If you want a more in-depth video about this whole infotainment system, go ahead, click that little link right somewhere around there. Um, it's about like a 30 minute long video going a little more in depth over all the options and everything. Um, like I said, that's going to do it. Catch you next time.